So now we are moving on to returning of the serve. So serve return is an important part. So just like I explained to you guys how to serve in singles and doubles, same way there are different ways of returning the serve. So we're gonna be starting with the return of a high serve in singles. So I'm gonna be starting with high serve. So it really depends where my serve goes. It decides where my opponent is hitting the return. So if my serve is really good, high and long, he'll go ahead and hit a clear. So that enables him to make me out of position and then execute his shot. I repeat one more time. If my serve is high and long and in a good position, he will start with a clear. Now moving next, let's say my serve is not so good and it's ending up on a second line. He will start with some offensive shot. He'll start with a drop or start with a smash. So these are the second option. It's a drop. So he's gonna go and just hit a drop so that I go down and then he execute his next shot. Now the next up is a smash. So let's say I happen to do a mid-court serve, he'll immediately go ahead and just kill it. And it's gonna be hard for me to take because the shot is too fast, my serve was poor. So these are the returns for a high serve. Now, when I come to short serve, there are multiple different returns in the short serve. I'll begin with what you should not do most of the times. Many people, they tend to take a lazy move and when somebody does a short serve, they go and they just lift it. They're giving a free opportunity to the opponent to go ahead and kill them. Never do that. Try to go earlier on the bird and try to hit a downward shot. So Fisal here will be showing some downward shots on, on different angles. So you can go ahead, you can hit a straight drive, cross drive, straight drop, cross drop, or you can hit on my body. So when I do a shot serve, he'll come up. It's a net drop. So I'm, after service, I'm gonna have to move down. So that's a really good service return. It's considered one of the best returns in singles. Now, on the other side, he'll go and just push it. So while I was ready for the front, he just pushed me back. I had no time to react. Even if I get to this shot, I'll have to ha hit a lazy recovery shot. I cannot just go and attack it because the shot was too fast for me. Now I'll show you what you should not do. When I serve, if you are just being lazy and you go and you just lift it, it gives me opportunity right there to go and kill you. So always try to go up on the bird and try to keep the bird as low as possible. So these are the some returns for a singles game format. In the next part, we'll be talking about doubles returns.